Welcome to Bliss Training. Here's the philosophy behind Bliss Training. I just came up with this, but it's ancient at the same time. Bliss is an energy. You know how we all talk about increase your frequency, raise your vibration, is that kind of new age talk? Well, there is some relevance to that. There's a lot of relevance to that. It's just gotten a bit of a bad rap because of the people that use it, misuse it, proliferate it, turn it into shops and crystals and all that stuff. And all of which has some purpose. But if we're talking about raising our vibration. In essence, what you're doing is you're contacting more bliss, greater and greater bliss. And you can flip that around and say that the greater the degree of bliss that you're experiencing, the higher your frequency. Now, the longer you stay in that heightened state of bliss, which includes a lot of the other frequencies we often talk about, we meaning, I guess, teachers, guides, um, and or the awakened community at large, which is gratitude, appreciation, uh, being in the flow state, all these things, all these spiritual qualities are naturally contained, they're naturally um, initiated when we enter into a state of bliss. So, um, it's not directly accessible to everyone just yet. Sometimes you need some other practices, but if you do have some access to this, um, which we all do fundamentally speaking, structurally speaking, every single one of you guys has access to this. But for some of you, it may take a little bit more practice to get into that state. But if you look at bliss as sort of the all-encompassing frequency gauge um, of your vibration, of your frequency, of your expansion, of the awakening of your consciousness, then why not lock onto that bliss and simply activate that bliss and increase that bliss and let that be your practice? A, you're going to have fun from the get-go because bliss is blissful. Uh, and B, you're going to actually get a lot of the or all of the benefits that you get from other kinds of paths or methods or tools. So find something that really blows your heart wide open. Even just the picture of that. For some people, that's enough. Even when I say, just allow your heart to blow itself wide open, like to pieces, like scatter your heart all around the world. Like be free of all your responsibilities for a second. Be free from this thought of what you're responsible for, this thought of who you are as a person, and just unleash, just awaken your heart. Just make it wide open and experience the gratitude and the appreciation and just the sheer non-linear freedom that you know at some level you are. You know at some level you can't be pinned down to any particular person, body, location, space, thing, duty, thing, whatever. You are essentially timelessly free. The fundamental level you are fundamentally always already free and you know this because this is the truth. It's simply the nature of what you are. It's non-negotiable. You cannot negotiate on your freedom because it's the very nature of what you are. Now you can fill that freedom up with all kinds of mental constructs that make it feel like you're not free, but that's still made out of the essential, essential state of freedom. So freedom can create the illusion of non-freedom. So if you just remember that, that you're always already free, no matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you fail, no matter how hard you succeed, at the end of all time, you will still be the infinite you. And you will still be the infinite expanse of consciousness. And maybe you have other uh, access points to this bliss. Gratitude for a lot of people is an access point. For me, it's just bliss. Like it's instantly activated. It's, I just recognize my first nature. Um, and I make that my second nature. Make the recognition of your first nature second nature. Do it frequently. Make it a habit. Make it automatic. So once you do that, it becomes this ever accessible well, and you can just increase that frequency at will or lower it depending on perhaps the relevance of the moment, uh, what you are into in that moment, what's just naturally resonant for you, uh, but also to what extent you've trained yourself to maintain this awakening, this bliss, this expansion and also to what degree it's relevant to actually embody that vibration in a room of people. Sometimes it's relevant to lower yourself a little bit to be more accessible, to be more human, so to speak, to be more relatable. Because bliss also as a teacher, when we activate bliss, when we increase the state of bliss, also a lot of our constructs disappear. They just become irrelevant. And, but with, with a responsible, clear, heightened awareness. It's not that we lose control. It's that all manners of control disappear but you are still there. 
There is a mastery beyond controlling your environment. There is a mastery beyond controlling your habits. There is a mastery beyond controlling your um, behavior. So that mastery is like this state that just covers and permeates and penetrates the state of bliss, the state of clarity, the state of empty, beautiful, pristine awareness that just permeates and pervades all other states, all other temporary inflections um, of your emotional, mental body experience. So go to the bliss and activate it and increase it. And for the next few weeks or so, let that just be your teacher. And if you watch the Power Walks video that I made, to Infinity Presents Power Walks, um, you can do this on your Power Walks to just amp up that vibration, just give in more to that bliss. And that bliss becomes your teacher. That bliss becomes your very own teacher. And it will show you everything and it will make disappear everything that's not relevant and it will show you exactly what needs to be seen if anything and just keep increasing that bliss keep increasing that bliss until you're not comfortable with it for some reason or you just um you just forget for a period of time but keep repeating this activating the bliss state deepen your surrender into the bliss it comes with harmony with union with awakening transcendence, freedom, empowerment, energy, vitality, healing. Your body will heal because of bliss. Bliss is the greatest healer. Bliss comes with love. Because when you're blissful, you don't care. You just want to radiate. Bliss radiates. It doesn't take. It constantly generates, consumes, radiates. It never, sorry, it constantly generates, creates, radiates. It never consumes or takes bliss just radiates because you already are it and it's it's infinite once you fall into the rabbit hole of bliss there is no real return and you realize the infinite nature of that well and then you just give it's not even that you want to give although you do but it just gives by itself 